And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I'm your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I suck at video games, I suck at commentary. And when we last left off, we were about to get grilled by Senor Edgeworth, so let's go ahead and continue. That's right, and to the defendant who was just a child at the time. The table is like a magic box that could make robots appear or disappear in seconds. But in the end, my mom just put, out, put her on their operating table and fixed her in a da flash! I was so impressed by what my mom did. I even asked her if she would put me on the table and fix me if I ever got hurt. It looked just like a magic magic to me, what she could do. You can't possibly be suggesting. This young sheltered girl had a difficult time distinguishing robots from people. But take a look at Punko's arm. It was it was Miss Sykes who banished it up like that. She must have thought that the machines heal in the same way that people do. What an adorable, naive mistake. It reminds me of my own grandchild. No way. I refuse to believe it. Miss Sykes made a childish, naive, and cruel mistake. She thought that if a robot could be dismantled and vanished without a trace... Prosecutor Edgeworth! If you're about to claim what I think you are, I demand that you word it as delicately as you can! With all due respect, Your Honor, all I can do is present the truth as it stands. The reason the defendant moved the victim's body to the operating table... Operating table... Hold it! Hold it! No! Don't say another word! Just stop! was to dismantle the evidence so that she could get away with her crime. That... that can't be... TRUE! I don't know why you felt the need to scre scream true like that. Caught me off guard. ORDER! ORDER IN THE COURT! ORDER IN THE COURT, I SAY! Edgeworth. She was just a little kid. How can you say, say, say such a horrible thing? Kids have done even worse things than that in real life, I can tell you that much. Horrible. <laughs> like I said, you're just as green as ever. I came here today as a prosecutor to seek only the truth. No more, no less. My theory is simply the result of a rational consideration of every possibility. Except for the reality, which isn't that she tried to disassemble her, but to reassemble her. Duh. Okay, whatever. But dismantling it isn't isn't the table's only function. It can make repairs as well. It's in, it's conceivable that Miss Sykes moved her mother to the table in order to fix her. Hmm. I suppose that could be another way of interpreting it. But do you have proof? By dismantle or repair, it doesn't matter either way. What do you mean? After murdering her mother, Miss Sykes may have come to her senses. Perhaps she didn't she did want to make it appear as if it never happened. And that's why she tried to repair her mother. Yes, that's one possible explanation. But... But we mustn't forget the facts of this case. The victim was observed to fall down after being hugged by the defendant. And the body is moved per the defendant's command. These two facts, facts that indicate the defendant's guilt, remain unchanged. This just can't be true. Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence to refute the prosecution's claim? Evidence... right... let's see... I can't think of any... I'm afraid I... don't have any evidence... Since becoming Chief Prosecutor, I've learned, th learned that the truth isn't always pretty. Now accept the truth, Mr. Wright. Your subordinate murdered her own mother. Your Honor, the prosecution demands a verdict. The hostages have suffered enough. What a terrible and tragic conclusion. If the defense has no counter-argument, I see no need to further prolong this trial. Edgeworth's argument seems solid enough, but... But... There's no way Athena could have ever done anything like that. What do I do? There has to be something. But I can't think of a single thing. Blackwool! Okay. Prosecutor Blackwell! Hm. This is quite the farce you're concluding here. Conducting here. I could die from laughter. Prosecutor Blackwell, 
What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that your argument is based on an entirely false premise. Go on, we're listening. Could this be a miracle I need? What is Prosecutor Blackwell trying to pull here? What do you think? Seven years. For seven long years. This case has been on my mind. Not for an instant did I not think of it. I'm the one who killed my mentor. I don't think you can alter the fact now. Your boredness. I will take to the start and I won't take no for an answer. Of course, Prosecutor Blackwell. Please go ahead. Witness testimony. Seven years of quar. I went to the Cosmos Space Center with the intention of killing Dr. Soikes. But when I got to the robo robotics lab, I found Athena there instead. I would not be swayed from my purpose, so I waited for Dr. Soikes to return. And then I committed the act. Oh, how cathartic it was. Hmm. But little Punkle here witnessed the victim falling. In other words... Objection! I don't need any of your other words, old man. I can guess what happened. Which could be... She fell means she fell. Merely that. A mother and child fooling around. Perhaps she tripped. Not that it matters. When I enter the lab, there is no trace of Dr. Sykes to be seen. There was no dead body either, of course. Meaning she must have left the room. So the murder occurred after the time period Polka described in her testimony. Hmm. <laughs> You shall hardly take stock in the words of a wind-up toy. Objection. Then how do you explain the fact that the, that the defendant had the robot move, had the had the robot move something? Athena is always tinkering with robots on the operating table to amuse herself, and she always had Punko move the heavy ones for her. That day was no different. Punko moved a heavy robot for Athena. This is awful. What he says seems to make sense, and yet. Objection! Prosecutor Blackwell, are you trying, even now, to turn away from the truth? Don't you realize we could bring the dark age of the law to a close today? Objection! You expect too much from me. I'm just a murderer beyond redemption. Why don't you just let me go on, go, go so I can settle down to hell? <laughs> Prosecutor Blackwell's execution is tomorrow. If the truth doesn't come out now, it's all over. Are you saying that the little girl and the robot had nothing to do with the murder? That's right. So let's hear your verdict. If we don't hurry, I might miss the ferry across the sticks. The river sticks? I... Hmm... Don't you dare, Judge! Don't forget I, I have hostages over here! And Simon, how long are you going to cover for her? Miss Blackwell! Forgive me, Ola. I never wanted you to do anything like this for me. But you agreed to this trial. If you have a counter-argument, then present your evidence. That's the rule of the courtroom. Isn't that right, Chief Prosecutor? Blackwell. You selfish! Well, to be frank, I don't like this, but it's my duty to make a decision. If no one has a counter-argument, I will announce my verdict. Is this really happening? Is it really going to end just like it did seven years ago? I wanted to do it so bad, even now I want to fly out of here and go save him. No, I can't tell her. But how can I lie to Athena? If I can't prove Prosecutor Blackwell's innocence in this trial, I don't think Athena will ever forgive me. I can't let this happen. I just don't have the evidence to counter Prosecutor Blackwell's testimony. Um, I, I, I kind of have to wonder how she got here, considering she was locked up, but, okay, whatever. It's, I guess it's not like the, uh, song, Locked Up Won't Let Me Out, it's Locked Up They Will Let Me Out. Oh, anyway. What, what am I doing? Athena! What are you, are you feeling okay? I can hear it. I can hear the voice of his heart. He's hiding something. If he really is, I could sure use Athena's help here. Her power might be just the thing to get us through this. Objection! Sykes, Dunno! No need for you to chime in here, just as if that you're innocent! Objection! Uh, 
These past seven years, they've been just as hard on me, you know. What are you talking about? Do you remember? That horrible, horrible trial? Please, you have to listen to me! He didn't kill her! His heart is screaming that he didn't kill her! Even now, every time I stand in a courtroom, it comes back to haunt me. Not being heard, no matter how hard you try. Feeling so helpless. Caught in people's stares, so scared that it feels like your chest is in a vice. I'm terrified of courtrooms. I want to run out that door even now. And yet, you found a way to keep your fears at bay and become a lawyer. Thanks! That's because one day, I came to realize that I had to fight. I couldn't give up. I exercised hard and I studied hard. I wanted to become the strongest lawyer I could be. This day has finally come, the day I've been looking forward to with all my heart. This is why I became a lawyer. This is why I studied psychology. It was all to save you from this false conviction. But Miss Sykes, do you realize what it could mean? You are the accused after all. If you prove Prosecutor Black will innocent, then... The only thing that matters is the truth. It's my duty to find out what that truth is. Simon, please give me this chance. The chance to shake out this fear that's been with me for seven years and to face the truth! Athena's being so brave confronting her past like this. This might really be the last chance to save them both. Prosecutor Blackwell, please testify one more time about the incident seven years ago. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. But your efforts will surely be in vain. For I'm not a man who can be cut down easily. Here we go, Simon! Let me hear the voice of your heart! Hello! Anyway, what I was gonna say was... I, I, didn't, wa I didn't want to break the uh, tone of the thing, but... He said, I'm, I'm not a man who can be cut down so easily, yet we've beaten him how many times at this point now? Your blade is- your blade sucks, Blackwell. I don't even know why jo Simon- or why Joe Milton loves it so much. It sucks! Blackwell! Anyway, I went to- I went to the Cosmos- I went to this Cosmos Space Center with the intention of killing Dr. Sykes. Mad. But when I got to the Robotics Lab, I found Athena there instead. Happy. Even more happy, I would not be swayed from my purpose, so I waited for Dr. Sykes to return. And then I committed the act, and how cathartic it was. Okay, so... He was happy about this. Actually, g going for his, uh, you know, going with the, uh, to going with, you know, his, uh, testimony, him being happy, actually makes sense there. But, he was super happy here, though. It kind of makes me wonder. Nope. When we view your emotions alongside your testimony, you find the unexpected emotion. Wait a minute. There really isn't anything strange here. I don't know, but I think maybe we made a mistake, Mr. Wright. I think maybe you're right. Let's take another look. There must be an unexpected emotion here somewhere. Will not be swayed from my purpose, so I was... So I W. What? Waited for Dr. Sykes to return. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then I committed an uh, the act and how cathartic it was. Okay. Okay, so he was mad. And then he got happy all of a sudden. Do you want us to go with this one? Or maybe, like, why he wasn't mad when he killed her? Uh, that's always a possibility. But, you know, I'll go with this one. Like, why are you happier? When I got to the robotics lab, I found Athena there instead. Got it. 
This feeling of happiness. Even though the person you were looking for wasn't there, you felt happy. Why is that? Simple. When I was looking for Athena and hadn't found her yet, I grew, I grew worried. So when I saw her in the erotics lab, I was happily relieved. Merely that. 40%? Holy moly, that's a big fish. Just now you said that you went to the Space Center to kill Dr. Sykes. But the first thing you did was look for her daughter instead. I had no intention of harming Athena, so I wanted to confirm that she was safe first. It was just a part of my plan. Nothing contradictory about that. G the second I find an inconsistency, he cuts it down. Simon knows the principles of analytical psychology. There's less noise now, but I don't see any instabilities we can latch onto. I was afraid of that. We'll just have to keep chipping away at him then, bit by bit. Could you update his testimony, Athena? You got it, boss! It's you got it, dude, actually, but okay. Into the cosmic space here, the attention clean of the Sykes. We've updated. When I found Athena in the robotics lab, I was relieved. But I would not be swayed from my purpose, so I waited for Dr. Sykes to return. And when she did, I plunged the katana in. Why are you suddenly so sad? Oops, I think I hit the, like, I hit the, I hit, I hit the bot, I hit the thingy, but I think the hitbox registered it as me hitting the arrow thing. The heart doesn't lie, not even Simon's. I can hear that he's trying to hide his true feelings, but they're sleep, they're seeping through anyway. Thanks, that should help a lot. If Prosecutor Black wasn't the killer, then there should be a contradiction somewhere. <laughs> Boom. Not even you can falsify your emotions, Prosecutor Blackwell. What? When you said that you killed Dr. Sykes in your testimony, you felt sadness. Why would someone who had laid who had laid wait to kill her Why would someone who laid wait to kill her be so sad at her death? Hmm. Such an obvious attack. Yes, I felt sadness, but it wasn't for her. I felt sorry for Athena and her circumstances. You can't be talking about that, can he? I was just a convenient subject for research. Dr. Sykes is so intent on her research, she forced her daughter to undergo experiments. My objective was to save Athena. From an obsessive scientist, he treated her own daughter like a research subject. What? I went to the psychology lab first. That's where we usually find a theater playing. But that day was different. I had someone crying in the robotics lab next door. Was Athena being su subjected yet to another experiment? I thought as I went to see. Conveniently, Athena had cried herself to sleep, so all I had to do was wait and kill. So that's why he was relieved when he saw Athena. But is this story really true? I'm not sure how much to believe. Mr. Wright? How are you doing, Athena? Still hanging in there? I'm a lot stronger than I look, boss. Now, now take a look at this. The noise level actually increased. <laughs> That's new. It went up. I've never seen it do that before. Prosecutor Blackwell is lying somewhere in his testimony. As a matter of fact, he's pu he's piling lie on top of lie in an attempt to make his claim sound more believable. He's trying even harder to suppress his true feelings, and that's what's causing the noise. How in the world should I approach this? I can either use an evidence-based approach if I can find a contradiction. Otherwise, I should look for an inconsistency in his emotions. Hmm. There are no flaws in my testimony, and his boldness is prepared to give his verdict. Give up on this lost cause and let the law free me to the free me of these chains already. Awkward pause, see you guys in the next episode. Unless I cut you down first!